Welcome back to Move with Nicole. Today I have a full body Pilates workout for you, filmed here at the beautiful Kalabadra Creek on the Gold Coast, Australia. So when you're ready to get started, roll out your mat and let's begin. Let's start today's class on our hands and our knees to warm up our spine. So on your exhale, round your spine, gaze towards your navel. Then on your inhale, arch your spine and open through your chest. And again, exhale as you round, really lifting up through your belly button. Inhale as you arch. Just two more like this, moving with your breath. Really rolling those shoulders back as you open through your heart. Then on this last one, hold your chest open. Bend your elbows and lower your chest and your chin down to the mat. Drop your hips to the floor, roll your shoulders back and inhale, lift your chest up into your cobra. Then exhale, lower yourself down. One more, inhale, roll your shoulders back, press through your hands, lift your chest. Exhale, release back down. Inhale, press up to your hands and your knees and exhale, press back into your child's pose. On your next inhale, ripple your spine forward, lower your hips to the floor, coming into your upward facing dog. Then exhale, press your hips back towards your heels. Let's do this a few more times. Inhale as you ripple forward, finding your cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale as you press back. Two more, just like this. Again, moving with your breath here. And last one. This should feel really good for your body. Beautiful. Shift forward to your hands and your knees, this time making sure that your spine is straight, your knees are directly underneath your hips, hands directly underneath your shoulders. Curl your toes under and lifting up through your navel, let's lift our knees off the floor. Shift your weight into your left foot and pull your right knee in towards your chest. Inhale, press back into a three-legged dog, extending your right leg up. Exhale, shift forward, returning to that bear position, pulling your right knee in. So inhale, press back, three-legged dog. Exhale, return to that bear position. Keep going. Really make sure that as you shift forward to that bear position, that your shoulders are directly over your wrists that your spine is super straight, really lifting up through your navel, and that you're keeping that left knee hovering off the floor if you can. You've got it guys, just two more. And last one. Now hold in your bear position and press your right leg up to the sky. Flex your foot and pulse the leg up for 10, 9, 8, 7. Keeping that left knee hovering off the floor if you can. Three more, two, and one. So good. Lower your left knee down, point your right toes, and let's come down onto our forearms. Really lift up through your navel, and then lower your right knee down and extend your leg back. So inhale, pull your knee in, exhale, extend back. Eight more, just like this. Make sure here that you're keeping your hips nice and parallel and that you're not arching through your spine as you extend your leg back. Really drop those ribs down towards your hips, keeping your core engaged. Two more. And last one. 
Hold your leg extended, flex your foot and let's pulse it up for 10 and nine. Nice, exhale and exhale. Six more, five, four, you've got it. Three, two and one. Repoint your toes and press yourself up onto your right hand now. Slightly open your right hip out, then pull your knee wide and extend back. Exhale as you pull the knee wide, inhale as you extend back. So exhale, pull, inhale, extend. Try to keep your shoulders and your chest parallel to the floor here. You're just working that right glute in your right leg here. Let's do one more. Hold your leg extended and now draw little circles for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And now reverse it for 10, 9, 8. Really reaching through those toes. Five more. 4, 3, 2, and 1. Beautiful job. Release your leg down, press up onto your hands, curl your toes under and press back into a downward facing dog. Pedal your heels here, alternate bending your knees to release any tension through the back of your legs. Then carefully walk your hands back towards your feet and roll your spine up to standing. With your feet hip distance apart in parallel, let's take some squats. So inhale, squat down, exhale, press up. Inhale, squat, exhale, press. Really reaching your arms by your ears, creating lots of length through your spine. Try to shift your weight back into your heels sending those glutes far behind you. Let's do two more. And last one, hold in your squat, bring your hands to prayer, and then lift your heels up and lower down. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower. Eight more, just like this. Try to stay low in your squat here, really activating your legs and your glutes. And also try to lower those heels down with as much control as you can. Beautiful, two more. And last one. Well done. Reach your arms by your ears and let's pulse it out for 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, you've got it. Five, little lower. Four, three, two, and one. Press yourself up to standing. Take a nice inhale. Then exhale, dive yourself forward, bringing your hands down to the mat. Beautiful job. Walk your hands forward now and return to your hands and your knees, ready for the second side. So curl your toes under. Lift your knees off the floor and really lift up through your navel. Let's pull our left knee in towards our chest now. Then on your inhale, press back into your three-legged dog. Exhale, shift forward back to your bare pose. And again, inhale as you press back. Exhale as you shift forward. Keep going. Moving at your own pace here. Really trying to find as much control in this movement as you can. Make sure your shoulders are stacked over your wrists as you shift forward into that bear pose and that you're pulling that left knee nice and high in towards your chest. On this last one, hold your knee into your chest and then press your left leg up to the sky. Flex your left foot and let's pulse it up for 10 and nine. Keeping that right knee lifted if you can. Six more, five, you've got it. Four, three, two, 
and one. Well done. Set your right knee down, uncurl your right toes and lower down onto your forearms. Inhale, lower your left knee down and exhale, extend the leg back. So inhale as you pull the knee in, exhale as you extend back. Pointing your toes, really finding lots of length through that left leg as you kick it back. Try not to arch through your spine. So every time you extend the leg back, make sure that you're dropping your ribs down towards your hips. On this last one, hold your leg extended, flex your foot and take 10 lifts. Four, ten, and nine. Nice. Exhale and exhale. Six more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Point your toes. Press yourself up onto your left hand now. And exhale. Pull your left knee towards your left tricep. Inhale. Extend the leg back. So exhale as you pull the knee forward. Inhale as you extend it back. Eight more, just like this. Really try to keep your shoulders and your chest parallel to the floor. Really press through those arms and those shoulders so that you're not sinking through your upper body. You've got it. Keep your leg nice and lifted, sliding forward and back all at the same height. Just one more. Now hold your leg extended, draw those circles for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and other way for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Beautiful job. Release your leg down and press back onto your heels. Okay, from here, let's come down onto the left side of our body. Resting your head in your hand, take your legs to a 90 degree angle and then take your right hand behind your head too. On your inhale, lift your right leg up. Exhale, extend it out in line with your body. Inhale, pull the knee forward and exhale, lower the leg. So inhale, lift, exhale, extend, inhale, pull forward, exhale, lower. Just eight more like this. Really make sure in this position that you're keeping your hips nice and stacked on top of one another and that you're trying to lift up through the side of your waist as much as you can. As you extend your leg out, think of dropping your ribs down towards your hips, making sure that you're not arching through your spine. We're really trying to get into our glutes here. On this next one, hold your leg extended. Let's take some bicycles. So inhale, bend your knee, pull the knee forward, and extend, then exhale, kick the leg back. So inhale, bicycle the leg forward, exhale, sweep the leg back. Three more in this direction. Make sure that you're keeping your leg at exactly the same height as you bicycle it forward and kick it back. Okay, let's reverse it. Inhale, kick it straight forward, exhale, bend the knee and extend back. Inhale, kick forward, exhale, bend, and extend back. Just three more. Try not to rock too much through your body. Last one. Well done. Kick the leg forward now and then flex your foot. Let's finish with lifts for 10 and nine. Nice exhale and exhale, you've got it. Six more, five, four, three, two, and one. Point your toes, sweep the leg back, and now come all the way down onto your left arm, resting your head. 
extend your left leg out then inhale lower both legs and exhale lift them up inhale lower exhale lift just eight more like this placing your right hand on the mat in front of you for a little extra support in this exercise really squeeze your thighs together as you lift your legs up crunching through the side of your waist as well on this last one hold both legs lifted and take a little scissors for 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 10 more 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 one good job lower your legs down and press yourself up now okay let's come into a side plank series with your left hand directly underneath your left shoulders press up into a side plank then pike your hips and reach your right hand towards the back corner of your mat inhale return to your plank and exhale lower back down so inhale press up into your plank exhale reach across piking your hips inhale return to your side plank and exhale lower your hips three more just like this this is really great for the strength of our core as well as the strength of our upper body let's do one more really lift those hips up beautiful job okay you guessed it we get to do that all over again on the other side so coming down on to your right side now rest your head in your hand and take your legs into that 90 degree angle place your left hand behind your head as well for a little extra challenge inhale lift your left leg up exhale extend it out inhale pull it forward and exhale lower so inhale lift exhale extend inhale pull it forward exhale lower eight more just like this try to stay nice and lifted through the underside of your waist imagining that there's a little pocket of air between your waistline and the mat Make sure that when you extend your leg back that you're not arching through your spine. So keep dropping your ribs down to your hips. You have two more. And on this last one, hold your leg extended and let's bicycle it out. So inhale, bend your knee extend your leg forward exhale kick the leg back inhale bicycle forward exhale kick back three more in this direction keeping your leg nice and lifted with your inner thigh parallel to the floor beautiful let's reverse it inhale kick forward exhale bend and extend back inhale kick forward exhale bicycle back three more two more really reaching through those toes last one gorgeous let's sweep the leg forward now flex the foot and finish with those pulses up and up nice exhale and exhale six more five little higher four three two and one point your toes sweep the leg back and now come all the way down onto your right arm resting your head extend your right leg out to meet your left then inhale lower both legs exhale lift inhale lower exhale lift eight more just like this as you exhale think of dropping your top rib down to your hip to really allow the strength of the side of your waist to lift your legs up so 
So not only using the strength of your legs here, you're also using your core. On this last one, hold both legs lifted and let scissors switch for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So good. Release your legs down and then prop yourself up ready for your side plank. So right hand underneath your shoulder. Inhale, press up into your side plank. Exhale, pike your hips, reach across. Inhale, back to your side plank. And exhale, lower your hips. Four more. Inhale, press up. Exhale, pike your hips, lifting up through your navel. Inhale, return to your plank. Exhale, lower your hips. Keep going. Moving at your own pace here. Finding the strength and control in this movement. You only have one more. Beautiful job. Okay, let's give our wrists a little bit of a break now and roll down onto our backs, ready for some core work. Imprint your spine, so press your lower back and down into the mat, and then lift your legs to a tabletop position with your knees open and your toes together. On your exhale, lift your head and shoulders up, then inhale, lower back down. Exhale, curl up, inhale, lower. So making sure that as you lift your head and shoulders up, that your elbows are nice and wide and that you're dropping your chin down towards your chest to protect your neck. Really think of that rib to hip connection as you lift your head and shoulders up. Last one, hold your head lifted. Extend your left arm by your hip and let's perform our hundreds. So inhale, flex your feet, press your feet away and exhale, point your toes and pull your knees in. So it's inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, press your feet away. Exhale, pull your knees in. Keep going. One more. Well done. Now switch arms, extend your right leg out. And again, inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale and exhale. Really squeeze your heels together, squeeze your thighs together as you press your legs away. Just one more. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Well done, hug your knees in, rest your head down and turn your head right and left to release any tension. Then hug your knees in and rock yourself up to seated. We're going to perform the roll like a ball. So hug your knees in towards your chest, come up onto your tippy toes, finding your balance and tuck your chin in towards your chest. On your exhale, rock back. Then inhale, rock up, finding your balance, keeping those toes off the floor. Exhale, rock back. Inhale, rock up. Keep going. Just one more. Okay, from here, roll your upper body down onto the mat with as much control as you can. Then hug your right knee in towards your chest and extend your left leg long. Take your hands behind your head with your elbows wide. Let's take two bicycle switches and then two scissor switches with our legs straight. So two bicycle switches, then two scissor switches bringing opposite elbow to opposite leg. You've got it, taking a nice exhale each time that you twist, really getting into our obliques here. 
Really try to stay as lifted as you can through your upper body and through your shoulders to really get those abs burning. Keep going, you're almost there, generating lots of heat. Well done, rest your head down, hug your knees in and take a well-deserved little breather. Okay, from here, keep your head rested down on the floor and press your hands down beside you on the mat. Keeping your spine imprinted, extend your legs up to the sky and turn your toes out. On your inhale, drop your legs over to the right, sweep them down and over to the side and back up. Keep going, creating nice big circle with those legs over to the right and up to the left. Just one more in this direction. Well done. Now other way, inhale, drop to the left, sweep them down and around and up. Inhale as you lower, exhale as you lift. You've got it. Last one. Well done. Take your hands behind your head, lift your head and shoulders up, and now inhale, lower your legs straight down, exhale, lift up. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Keeping that beautiful turnout, making sure that your lower back is pressing down into the floor, really working our lower abdominals here. You've got it, keep breathing. On this next one, hold your legs low, reach your hands by your hips, and let's crisscross our legs. You crisscross, crisscross. Just breathing naturally here, really reaching through those fingertips for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and a 1. Good job. Hug your knees in, rest your head and take a well-deserved rest. Okay, rock yourself up now to a seated position. Extend your legs out long in front of you and place your hands underneath your shoulders. Lift your hips up, taking your gaze up to the sky or dropping your head all the way back just to release any tension through your hip flexors. Then carefully lower your hips down and let's cross our legs and come down onto the front side of our body. Stack your hands on top of one another and rest your forehead on your hands. Really draw your navel in, keeping your spine nice and straight. On your inhale, lift your chest and exhale lower. So inhale, lift your chest, Exhale, lower. Just three more like this. Really activating through those back muscles. Beautiful. Now let's lift our legs. So exhale, squeeze your glutes, lift your legs up. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Three more. Keeping your head rested here, just focusing on lifting those legs up. Last one. Good job. Take your hands underneath your shoulders now and curl your toes under. Press yourself up into a push-up position, either on your knees or you can have your knees lifted. And then lower your body straight down. Reach your arms forward, lift your chest, lift your legs and then return your hands to the floor and press yourself up to your push-up. Keep going, moving at your own pace here, just breathing naturally. Keep your gaze down towards the floor as you lift your chest and lift your legs up. You've got it. Try to push yourself up in one straight line. So really using the strength of your arms. You're almost there, keep going. You are so strong. On this last one, 
let's hold with our arms and our legs lifted and reach your arms back by your hips turn your legs out and let's beat our heels you beat 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 breathing naturally here really reaching through those toes try to lift your chest up a little bit more you've got it just for eight more seven six five four three two and one beautiful job release your legs down release your upper body down and then press yourself up and back into a child's pose releasing any tension through your lower back you will be happy to know that we have come to our final exercise of class so let's return to our hands and our knees just like how we started class curl your toes under and hover your knees off the floor really lift up through your navel step your feet back back into a plank and then forward back into your bear position alternating the leading leg each time so you step back back forward and forward and then lead with the opposite leg again moving at your own pace here I really want you to make sure that you're keeping your spine as straight as you can pressing through your shoulders on this last one hold your knees bent in that bear position shift your weight into your left foot and your right hand and pull your right knee in towards your chest then return to your bear position other side shift your weight to your right foot and your left hand pull your left knee in towards your chest and come back through center keep going option to kick that leg through if you want even more of a challenge and bring your top hand behind your head this is a little bit of a funky exercise but it really creates a nice burn to finish class you've got it just one more well done now hold through center with your knees lifted really lift up through your navel take one last big inhale then exhale lower your knees down and press back into your child's pose well done guys turn your palms up towards the sky to release any tension through your shoulders and just allow your body to fall heavy into the mat you did so well today then carefully roll your spine up to a kneeling position and let's stretch out our wrists so press your right palm in front of you and carefully draw your right fingers towards your chest with your left hand and then turn your palm towards you and press the top of your hand back towards your chest then change hands press your left palm away from you drawing your fingers back carefully with your right hand and then turn your left palm towards you pressing through the top of your hands now beautiful job okay roll on to your side now and come down onto your back keeping your left knee bent let's extend our right leg up to the sky holding on to the back of the leg let's alternate flexing and pointing our right foot just a few times to release any tension through the back of your leg and through your calf then hold your right foot flexed and cross your right foot over your left thigh opening your knee and hug your left knee in towards your chest feeling a well-deserved stretch for your right glute carefully release and let's switch legs extend your left leg up towards the sky and alternate flexing and pointing your left foot keeping that leg as straight as you can then hold the foot flexed and cross your left foot over your right thigh 
and hug your right knee in. Feeling a nice stretch for your left glute now. Then carefully release, roll onto your side and press yourself up to a cross-legged position on your mat. Sitting up nice and tall, inhale, reach your right arm up, exhale, side bend over to the left. Taking your gaze up to the sky if that feels good for you. And then inhale, come back up and exhale, twist over your left shoulder, sitting up nice and tall. Beautiful, let's switch sides. Inhale, reach your left arm up, exhale, side bend over to the right. Then inhale, come back up, and exhale, twist over your right shoulder now. Beautiful, come back through center and let's finish class like always with one last big inhale, reaching your arms up and exhale, lower your hands down to prayer. Thank you so much, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this Pilates practice on the beach today. If you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to like this video, leave me a comment, share this video with a friend or family member and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much again, and I am wishing you all the most beautiful day.